Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am joined again by my wife, Brenna. We got a special video today because we found these Siller Custom Cowboy Boots. They're elephant and we found them from Goodwill. So we wanted to run through what these are like because they are beautiful. This was such beautiful. an awesome find. So yeah. let's get into it. Old boots got soul and I carry on this way and we get better. Alright Brenna, so we were kind of surprised by this. We found mm -hmm. them at Goodwill. We weren't exactly sure what size they were because when you find custom boots, there's no sizing in here because there doesn't need to be. They're made for one person. So to find custom cowboy boots at thrift stores or online is always a gamble. But luckily for us, there was a shoe tree in here and when I pulled it out, it was set on size six. So I was like, you know what? That'll probably fit Brenna. So I brought them right over to Brenna and they fit her. So we got them and we think that these are really cool for a bunch of different reasons. We hadn't really heard of Siller before. Um, it wasn't really a name that I've seen in the custom cowboy boot world. So I did some research, I did some searching online and I came across a boot and shoe repair company called Siller Boot and Shoe Repair. So I messaged them and I said, by any chance did you make these boots? And I got a message back from Tom Barrett, who is the owner of Siller Boot and Shoe Repair. And he says, no, I didn't make those boots, but my predecessor did, Dennis Siller, at the same place. And Siller Boot and Shoe Repair Company is based in Great Falls, Montana, as it says here on the tag on the inside, but that is all the information that we had to go on. Yeah, we didn't have much to work with. No, not at all. And you just went on Facebook and started looking up the company. Yeah, and I just messaged them and, and, and Thomas got right back to me. That's crazy. It was awesome. <laughs> so it's really cool to sort of search down some of the history and some of these custom cowboy boots. It might be a hunt at first, but you could definitely learn a lot about them if you happen to find a pair that fits you. And luckily for us, these fit you when we tried them on quick. Um, and you'll get to try them on here in a second and break it down. Uh, but do you wanna take us through the rundown before we try these on and see what they look like? Yes. Here, we've got the Elephant Vamp. Uh, end counter actually on a nice round toe. You've got a beautiful maroon uh, leather shaft here, and I really like the way the maroon and the gray go together. I yeah, think me it's too. Really pretty. It is so pretty. And the heel's not too tall. It's an inch and a half heel, which mm -hmm. thank God. And stack leather. And stack leather. Yeah, it, looks, it like... looks really nice. And then we've also got a leather outsole and a full welt, but there is no pegs or nails. It's just sewn. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it looks really good. On the inside, you've got a nice leather lining. It's really soft. They did a great job there. Um, and then you've also got a leather insole. Mm -hmm. It's nicely made. An it's... elephant is always a tough hide and uh, something that you don't usually come across uh, in in thrift stores or online, at least for very long. They're, they're, it's kind of a popular hide just because it is so durable and exotic and it does have a very unique look to it as well. It's always very like sandpapery and stuff. What do you think about the elephant? Well, first of all, I didn't know that it was elephant. I was like, oh, what is that? Cause I've never seen a pair of elephant boots before. Mm -hmm. um, and I personally have mixed feelings on like the ethical nature of some exotics. I think elephants are one of those that in recent years, like the past, what is it, 20 years or so, they've done a good job of regulating where the skins come from and it's more environmental. They're working with the communities where they have to put down the elephants and it's not due to poaching. It all goes through the UN. Right, now it does. But when these boots were made, I don't know if that was the case. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if these boots are a byproduct of an illegal trade or a black market. And that to me is a little bit, you know, I, I just think about that. And that's something that I don't know that I'm 
comfortable being a part of, uh, but the boots are already made. They weren't made for me. I know they were customs. They were made for somebody else a long time ago. They happened to be in Goodwill. Um, and unfortunately, like, you you just never know. Mm -hmm. I think now there's better, like, policies in place. Because I do think it's up to every single person on Earth to make sure that our species that are endangered are protected. Right. I think the boot industry a lot of that is really enforced. And I think that that's one of the great things about the boot community is that y'all care too. Mm -hmm. It's not just like, oh, hey, let's go out and get all the elephants in the world so that we can all have elephant boots. It's like, no, they're rare and special and we need to treat them like the exotic that they are. And they are going to be priced really expensive because they aren't something that everyone should have. Right. You know? And that's the reason why several other skins aren't used anymore at all, like ant eater, eater and sea turtle. You can with elephant, and it is a very durable hide. Uh, one of the toughest going, and it, it looks good too. Yeah. So, I mean, it's always up to the consumer, it's always up to you to decide whether or not it's something you wish to invest in or not. Uh, there's always a, a give and take with these things. Uh, but with that, do you want to try these boots on now and sort of show everybody what they look like? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I've got the Siller Elephant Boots on my feet. They are a pinch, pinch um, too big, but I'm also wearing really thin socks. Um, but I want to talk about the main reason that I decided to keep these boots, and yes, it is a shallow reason. Number one, they look incredible. Um, the gray and the purple or maroon, whatever you want to call it, I think just looks really good together. I think it's very unique color combination that really goes with a lot of stuff, especially blue jeans. And number two is that they fit my calves and there is room to spare and I am jumping for joy over here because finding a cowboy boot that actually fits my calf in a color that looks good is like, <sighs> I've died and gone to heaven. So when we saw these, I kind of knew that I had to have them. Um, like I said, fit is a little big. That leather sole is really nice though. I like that it's a low heel. It's only an inch and a half, which God, I wish uh, modern bootmakers would get on that trend, um, but they feel really good. I could tuck my jeans into them if I wanted to. I could wear my uh, my jeans that are a little bit more flare outside of them, and I think that they would look really good. Um, they have a little bit of wear to them, but not a ton. I've been wearing them a lot lately though to try to like break them in, and they've broken in really, really nicely. It's I see why people like. Uh, that leather insole. I haven't often come across many boots where I'm like, ooh, yeah, okay, I like leather insoles, but I think this is one of those boots. And maybe it just takes a, uh, a custom boot to, to find out. <laughs> the elephant feels a lot like any other leather on the top. It's not preventing me from moving my toes at all. It feels good, it feels sturdy, everything feels very secure. Oftentimes the custom boot that's second or third hand that you find at Goodwill, you don't really know what you're getting, but these are really well made, which is really exciting that it is an exotic that's really well made that I was able to find it in for, at an affordable price because I don't think they knew what they had. But for me, it's a good pickup because I think it's something that I'll wear because it fits my calves and that's really exciting. It's really special to be able to wear them and you can feel that when you wear these boots. They feel special. Yeah, I think we really lucked out with the fact that this shaft is so wide to fit your calf. I mean, rarely do we see on the channel a boot that comes this far out. So the fact that we were finally able to get you a pair of boots that doesn't like squeeze your calf <laughs> is very out of the ordinary and kind of a sigh of relief probably. I think I finally know how you feel. <laughs> like I've never had a pair of tall boots that fit me the way that your boots fit you and I think I finally get it. Mm -hmm. You know because a lot of the boots that I have are not traditional cut they're not traditionally made they're like you know they yeah. got their booties or their yeah. lace-ups or their english style or whatever but this is like i think the most traditionally made cut boot anything like that and i think i get it yeah you know? it's nice it's comfortable <laughs> and the elephant is really supple much more yeah. supple than what you would expect from uh just seeing the animal mm -hmm. on you know documentaries or whatever, you think that it would be a super thick, really stiff hide, um, and it's probably part of 
the tanning process to make it more soft, but it, it is not thin by any means. Nope. It is a very durable leather. So now that these are going to be like roughed up, I'm going to try and keep these in good shape mm -hmm. because they do fit so well. Mm -hmm. I want them to last forever. I'm going to need all of your boot care tips for keeping this the way that it is. <laughs> no worries. And I got plenty of videos. If you guys want to see them, they're down below and there's one above too. Yeah. I think one of the things that, like I said in the beginning, I think the elephant is not knowing where that came from is the one thing that gives me a little bit of pause in considering keeping these boots um but i know that nowadays if it is like an it has to be disclosed where the exotic came from and yes. you were saying that if they're a major manufacturer there has to be like a tag that says like the history or the origin or whatever it is so i'm glad that they're moving in a direction that makes sense for the mm -hmm. sustainability of our planet and so that we can all continue to have beautiful boots and feel good about them mm -hmm. um moving forward because yeah. that that's important yep every major manufacturer now has to legally obtain those hides and uh there's really a lot that goes into it which is why they're so expensive as well so if you see lucasi tony llama uh, Justin, any of these really well-known name brands, they have to obey the law because they're under a microscope. But with the custom scene, you never really know unless you can trace it back with them. And a lot of bootmakers are really serious about where they get their hides, so they will be able to answer those questions for you. And I think it's always worth asking, hey, is this an ethically taken skin? And if they say no or they're not sure, then maybe you should work with someone who is considering all of the options out there. Yes, totally, 100%. Let us know what you think of the Siller custom elephant boots down in the comments. And if you guys ever need any repair work done on your boots, be sure to check out Siller Boot and Shoe Repair online at Facebook. The link is in the description. And I'm sure you could send your boots in to Thomas Barrett for repair. Uh, or if you're nearby, Great Falls, Montana, just stop on by. You know, tell them you saw this video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace, everybody. Those Silla Custom Elephants with the wide shaft so the calf fits. Probably one of our best thrifts in a long time. Yeah, those Silla Custom Boots were a great find. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Thank you so much for watching today. Peace. Have a good one.